Heartless is a documentary about two individuals who are both physically attracted to each other, but only one has a time of day to give to the other. Julia Harden is a 24-year-old professor in graduate school, and Carmen Ocean is a 25-year-old graduate pursuing his dreams in business. The two both met in a weird way. Julia was sitting down doing her homework and studying at a nice restaurant entitled The Penguin, and Carmen decided to just walk up and sit with her. During the time, Julia was not giving Carmen any play, therefore, Carmen stopped trying. Definitely be like, can you please go away? I wouldn't say that, but I would probably have an attitude because I'm like, I'm working, I'm doing something, and you see me doing something, and you want to come and try to get to know me. Now is not the time. She didn't blow me off. It's just, you know, she was doing her own thing, you know, school wise, and I just don't want to step in and just. Carmen has no problems getting women, but he is looking for something serious. He never thought he'd meet someone like Julia Harden. For him, she's a task within itself, but that makes him want her even more. Look at that business card, huh? Yeah, you should have. <laughs> I mean, I know you're a teacher and you love your class. But I do. What about your love life? Uh, work is my love life. <laughs> uh, that's, that's me. I am my work and my work is me. School comes first. I have a business, I have a blog, I have a blog, I have a website. And I'm trying to graduate. Well, not really because I was able to balance it. No. I just I just had that struggle of trying to juggle everything, but it kinda of worked out for itself. So I didn't have to shut anybody out. Yeah, it just really depends. Like I have personally felt that way, especially during summer school. We have classes every day. I felt like studying was more important than being with my significant other. But it shouldn't be something that's just all the time. Like maybe at this time this week, my studying or my work is going to be more important and going to take the front. But that shouldn't be a permanent thing. I never felt like that. I always feel like I do a good job balancing both. I always make time for what's more important, which is always my schoolwork, because I'm trying to, you know, progress in life, and I feel like we can do it together. So. I just believe that comes first, school, and everything else. So I really haven't had time to do the whole dating thing, so I guess. it's just work. Well, yeah. I mean, but if you love what you do, I don't. I wouldn't call it work. That's true. And that's about me. Give me something else about you. What do you like? What do you know? I like you. Okay. Besides me, what else do you like? I like the fact that you didn't email me back. You're not going to let me forget this, so I'm going to email you. I still have your business card. You didn't throw it away? No, I didn't throw it away. I'm not as evil as you think I am. I'm not some ice queen or something. So. Hey, Oh, okay. Okay. All right, class, as I've informed you for two weeks now, the dramatic monologues are due today. So, who wants to go first? Uh, I think uh, I would like to see you know, Keisha. All right. Well, Keisha, come on. All right, my name is Keisha Jackson. Okay, can you do that a little bit better? My name is Keisha Jackson, and I'm presenting Hello, It's a Bear. Okay, great. Uh, shall Hello I over there, there's a bear. Grizzly bear. That girl right there has nappy hair. Okay, Keisha. <laughs> what do I do? You can't, you can't do a warm-up as your dramatic monologue. What am I supposed to do? You, uh, you had two weeks to prepare. Is there anything? Anything else? Anything? Shakespeare? Nothing. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I got, I got one. To be or not to be? That is the question. That's all I know for me. Okay, so who wants to go next? Jacob, please. Now, it's, it's a 15-minute class. Let's see.
My name is Jacob Lewis, and I will be reciting back home. I think I should apologize to everyone for my behavior over the last six months. I have, as you know, been somewhat dumb. To find someone you actually love, who actually loves you, the chances are almost ministry. Look at you. I've only loved two girls, both total disasters. No, really. The first one casually marries me, faster than you can say Indiana Jones. And the other, who seriously has a no matter, leaves me for my best friend. I shall find myself 30 years from now, still back home. How right. Show off. Hey. So Jacob, I think you can officially put that African accent down on your resume. After that first initial meetup, Julia and Carmen begin to text each other and call each other periodically throughout the day. As time goes on, Julia starts to feel as if Carmen is ambushing her with his affection. So Julia ignores all his efforts to be her man and continues on with her life as if he doesn't exist. No, oh, but I've let them know that we can't like talk right now or hang out today because I'm busy doing work. I wouldn't straight just ignore someone. You should let the person know. It depends on the situation, honestly. Um, if it was a professional setting, then I would definitely ignore it. But if it was something that I would be able to answer and be like, I'm going to call you right back, then I would do that because I feel like communication is very important. Julia kept up with these shenanigans until Carmen was fed up with it. One day, Julia called and invited Carmen to the park because she hadn't been receiving any calls or texts for him. Hey! What's up? Well, hello to you too. Look, let's just get straight to the point. I don't appreciate you not answering my phone calls and texts. Even if you were busy, you could have said that. You're right. I was busy in class. But you couldn't send a quick text? It was just a matter of I felt like I had too much going on. I didn't let them in. And then when I finally was like, okay, well, I'm done with what I have going on. I'm going to open up. It was just too late. We had started talking to somebody else. Yeah, I could have. Well, why didn't you? Carmen. Look, it slipped my mind right after class ended. But you remember Saturday at 10 though, right? Carmen, I really like you. It's Look, you don't have to be the type of woman who works at death with no reward. You just gotta be able to take control of every aspect of your life. So what are you saying? You know what I'm saying. Okay, you can take the ring. 